What's up guys, Ants Canada here. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant channel. And it's a Monday, which means, of course, a new video. We upload a video every first and third Monday of the month. Today actually happens to be US National Pigs Day. <laughs> And um, for those of you that don't know, I, I have a pig. And here she is right now. See her snooping around there? Sangol is her name. She's a pot belly pig. She lives with me here in my condo. And you might notice there's a lot of clutter in the background. It's because I'm renovating my entire first floor. And why? Because, well, to accommodate my growing pig, I totally had to knock down a wall and all the crazy stuff. So for all of you pig owners out there and fans of pig, be them alive or dead, happy U.S. National Pigs Day. Um, and speaking of unconventional pets that we all love and love to spoil, um, today I wanted to feature more video of some of your ants. Now, every day, it seems like the number of emails uh, that are coming in is just increasing. It's incredible. And it really means a lot to me that you guys are taking the time to write to me and, you know, ask me questions and share all of your ant goodness and joys. Um, I feel like I'm excited with you guys. And I'm so glad that um, my videos are helping a lot of you out there. Thank you so much. Um, and of course, for those of you who are supporting uh, the Ants Canada Ant Store, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for the support. Um, a lot of you have been sending in videos and photos, it's so awesome. And it really seems like a lot of you guys out there are keeping some really cool, cool species of ants. Just a couple of weeks ago, I got this photo from a customer of a fungus grower, um, an acromyrmix colony being kept in our Omni Nest, which is so cool, I never thought it could be done. And some of you, termite. Farmers are even keeping termites in omni nests, which is really, really neat. Now, before we go on, I just wanted to do a shout out to all of you ant lovers out there over in Los Angeles County. For all of you guys in the LA area, be sure to visit the Museum of Natural History of LA. They've got a new exhibit up um, featuring some harvester ants and these harvester ants happen to be housed in omni nests really really cool the museum of natural history of los angeles contacted us uh, way back last year um, and they purchased some omni nests from us and also acquired their ant colonies through our den program all right so moving on to your ants now kyle morell hailing all the way from london ontario wrote to me saying, hey, I want to send you footage of my ants. And um, I thought that was great. He purchased a young Campanatus colony from our Ontario Gan farmer. And he was really, really excited and offered to send me video of his ants in his new Omni Nest vertical. Check it out. Hi everybody, so recently I purchased an Ants Canada Ant Farmer here. I'm from uh, Ants Canada Ant Store. And I'm doing really, really well for me right now. I have uh, a queen with a brood and her workers in it. I have three four workers, I believe. It's really easy to keep. I'm doing really well with them right now. And if you're looking for a beginner species, um, it's really good. It's um, I re really recommend it for you. Um, so the, uh, the nest I'm keeping it in is a uh, om omnis vertical small. It's doing really well for me too right now. Um, I have uh, some honey in the world right beside the test tube that the ants are in. I have some uh, um, some water in a test tube that the water's kept in. And um, I, I'm only letting them use the first floor so that they can grow, you know, um, and use more f more floors and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Hi everybody. So uh, here's the uh, the uh, former carrium. There are the ants. Zoom in there. It's returning to her brood. Uh, there's a rock. They can climb on some water right there in a test tube. Some honey. Some more honey. I'm, all, I'm only letting um, them use the first floor so that uh, they can grow into the rest. And, uh, yeah, it's really well designed. Mike did a really good job on this. There's, there are the sponges. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you liked the video, and uh, I really recommend recommend you uh, to get uh, the Omni Nest uh, vertical, or any Omni Nest, uh, really, because they're all really great and well designed. And, uh, yeah, thank you. All right, so thank you so much, Kyle, for sending in that video. Um, it looks like the ants are well on their way to being a successful colony for you. And me, I'm very jealous that you have a Campanotus Pennsylvanicus colony because I've never had one. And wishing you the best of luck in your ant endeavors. All right, up next, a great colony 
from a personal friend of mine now. Uh, he hails all the way from Singapore and he is raising a Campanotis or a Ventress colony, which is a really, really cool species. They've got this golden sheen on their abdomen. And they're just gorgeous, gorgeous ants. He caught his queen locally and raised them to a few workers and moved the colony into an omni nest. And Jem was able to grow the colony to the point where the colony now has some elates, really cool. So he's got some uh, virgin queens and males uh, popping up now in his omni nest. So that's really, really exciting. Check out this video here. Hi Maggie, this is Jem Cadiz from Singapore. And here is a quick update on my Campanotus auriventris colony in the Ants Canada Omni Nest Large Formicarium. What you can see here are uh, six empty chambers that I've blocked off with the cotton on the top. I was just cleaning one of them. I'll win a few of them. And as you can see there's still some residue on the blotches there. You can see it. And let's go to my nest. So here is where the cotton where I blocked the chamber off and there's quite a few workers here the larvas are there actually the larvas are all scattered you got the huge cocoon there two of them and I believe this will hatch into more female alates you should find them they should be around here somewhere there's a bunch of uh, larger cocoons as well I have seen one male alate. I don't think I've seen more of them. So right now this is what the colony looks like. And the main chamber where the queen resides should be here. And right next, oh there they are! I'm counting two right there with the wings on it. There should be two more. I think we need to find them. Yeah, they're quite messy. <laughs> so I feed them regularly with mealworms and honey. And I don't think I've cleaned this out world yet for a while. Oh no. I think I've seen one drowner. Oh, the worker's checking her up. No. Oh, I need to clean that up. It's a carcass. And that's where they throw their garbage at. It's quite messy right now. Yeah, so this component, this um, species is quite big. And they're known for their golden sheen on their dasters. As you can see on this major worker, sorry for the camera work. steady your hands on this. So that's about it though. Quite small colony but I am loving the setup. So I water my formicarium through here so I'm guessing that's why they moved their brood next next to it. So they should have a moisture gradient going from right to left. That's about it, man. I am enjoying this awesome formicarium, the Omni Nest Large. Sweet. Thanks again, man. Cheers. Such beautiful ants. You guys are totally awesome. Thank you so much to Kyle and Jem for sending that footage. Thank you as well to the Museum of Natural History of Los Angeles County. Thank you for reaching out to us and for the support. And to all of you guys, again, thanks for tuning in to another video. Please, please, please do not be shy. Write to me. Send me photos of your ant colonies in our omni nests, in our stuff. We've got a new formicarium line coming out. Hopefully by this year, I'm really excited about it as well. Please stay in touch with us and subscribe to our videos. Thank you so much. This is Ant Canada signing out. Bye. And love forever.
Thanks guys for watching my video. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got all sorts of ant goodness on this channel every first and third Monday of the month. Also, don't forget to check out some of our other ant videos here on the channel. Be sure to check out our last video, Why Ants? A Message for the Parents. A video I made particularly for those of you trying to convince your parents to keep ants. And you know what? If they're not willing to watch the video, just discreetly go into the same room that they're in, turn the volume up, and play the video. <laughs> also, don't forget to check out another helpful video called Top 10 Biggest Ant Keeping Mistakes. Make sure you do it right the first time. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye.